hi and welcome back to my channel this is another one of my makeup minutes today I am doing blushes I actually have quite a few to get through so I'm gonna jump right in this is a new series that I started that I actually do quick quick speedy reviews I use my notes so I keep on task and let's get started so the first one that I'm gonna talk about is buxom this is in the shade wanderlust it does look like this this is their primer infused blushes and these retail for $22 it is smooth glowy lasts all day easy to blend great pigment but does need building the minute you put this on you're not going to end up with a rosy cheek you do have to build it but because it's so smooth due to the primer infusion it is amazing and just gives a really natural glow because they're dupes I'm actually going to talk about them right in a row so that we can all have the same page here this is the elf primer infused I actually have these in two because they are so affordable the again buxom was 22 these are six dollars each they have the same exact consistency they're smooth glowy lasts all day easy to blend great pigment and um these do need to be built up as well however i think a little bit less than the buxom these actually have a little bit more color so these are amazing so next let's talk about m cosmetics this is their heaven's glow magic hour it does look like this and it looks like this it is a baked formula from what i can tell it is pigmented smooth mix of matte and glow so it's kind of a neat texture because you do get a matte color but you also see the hint of glow i'm not wearing it today just showing where i would see it um lasts forever like this is the one of the blushes that will be there when you put it on in the morning and when you midnight after 12 hours it will still be there 14 hours and it blends great this one has a higher price point of $34 in fact I believe it's the second most expensive in these that I'm showing so next I have the ColourPop Peach um, this I believe as of filming was still available but I believe they are discontinuing some this one is the fresh and peachy is what it is for the shade it's very pigmented like very pigmented <laughs> Uh, which I think is kind of consistent with ColourPop. They tend to have pretty good pigmentation overall. Um, it's super blendable. It is a matte. There is no glow. There is no shimmer. There is no sparkle. Lasts all day. And if it's not already discontinued, I believe it will be soon. Um, it's one of those that are part of the collection for the peach um, monochromatic type eye palettes. And so this isn't one that's going to be kept around from what I can see. Okay, next we have Clinique Cheek Pop. These are stunning is absolutely stunning they're expensive for the size like this one is 0.12 ounces and it was $25 I did get it on sale and with a discount so it is super pigmented blendable easy for travel because it is so tiny um, it's smooth and again it is matte I do believe that these are um, how heavy-handed you are is how pigmented they will come out whereas some of the other ones that are like the ColourPop a light hand you could end up with a lot these if you have a light hand you can use just an appropriate amount they're not pigmented to fault Next, I have the Hourglass. I actually have two Hourglass. One I purchased, one I received in my BoxyCharm, and one, let's see, this is Diffused Heat and Ambient Magenta. So these are what these, this is Diffused Heat, this is Ambient Magenta. These are subtle, they do need building, but they have a glowy, natural look. It's a baked formula. Again, it's very glowy. These are $40 each. I probably will never purchase one again. One, because these are going to last me till I'm like 80, but also because I just am finding that as much as I really love, and I mean, probably one of my favorite formulas ever for all of their products, I just can't justify the cost anymore. It just me, it just isn't something I'm willing to pay. So an exception to that would be the next one and my last one. This is Patrick Ta. This one is his She's Passionate. These are from the new blushes he just released, which actually had pretty mixed reviews, which shocked me. Subtle, it doesn't need building, but it's it's subtle in a good way. So you can put as much or as little of product as you want. And it looks good no matter what. Matte blending does take a little bit of effort, but it is worth that effort. So this is one that because you have to build it, it's really easy to go overboard or not use enough. So you do have to kind of work it into your skin. Once you do though, it is so smooth, it does not highlight texture, it just looks really pretty natural. And again, because it's matte, it does not have any glow, doesn't have any shimmer, nothing. So that one retails for $32. So that is my Makeup Minutes for my favorite blushes currently, and I hope you'll come back and check out another Makeup Minutes as I post them. This is a weekly series. I also hope that if you like this, I hope that you'll subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and if you like this video, I really hope you'll like it because that does help us in the algorithm and we all appreciate when you do that. Have a great day guys. I hope to see you soon.